Then it says, based on the range A11 to D24, create a two-variable data table that uses the term in mums cell D4 as the row input cell and the rate cell D3 as the column input cell. So we're going to go to A11, which is right here, and we're going to select all the way to <clears throat> D24. So we're going to click Shift-Command-Down and Shift-Command to the right. There you go. Then we're gonna click data, click what if analysis, and click data table. So then it says our input cells should be D4, and the and the column out input cells should be D3. And then click OK, and it should pop up like this. Then it says. In the list of interest rate range A12 to A24, create a conditional formatting highlight cell rules to highlight the listed rate of that matches for the rate for the Beecher Street House cell D3 in red light to fill with dark red text. So we're going to go to A12 to A24. So A12, we're going to highlight all the way down. Again, shift command down like this. I'm gonna click home, then you're gonna go to conditioning format, click highlight cell rules, and click equal to. Then we want it to equal to cell D3. Okay, I'm gonna go back. So it's gonna be cell D. Cell D3, click enter, click OK. It should be like this, like 4.32% should be highlighted in red like this. OK, then it says change the color to the left, right, and bottom borders of the range A9 to D24 to tan accent 4 to match the other outside borders in the worksheet. So when you go to, we're going to highlight A9 to A24. So again, shift command down and select the whole thing. So it says, okay, we're going to change the borders. So you basically in home, I'm going to go to, you see this little border button right here? You click down button, click more borders. Now you're going to select the left. So in order to select it, you're gonna first you want to change the color. So to find the color, we're gonna hover over it and see which one's the tan four. So the tan four should look like this. Okay. Then you start highlighting. You click on it to highlight. It should turn red. And then it works. Okay. Then you click OK. And yeah, see the borders are now this color tan four. Okay. So then, I'm gonna go to line color. You you can also check. It says tan accent four to make sure you have the right color. <clears throat> okay. It says Marinda and Ricardo talked to three local banks about securing a mortgage for the Beecher Street house. With the first blank, for the first bank, they could borrow three hundred and fifteen thousand at. 4.40% annual interest and pay back the loan in 30 years. She wants to determine the monthly pay payment with the first bank. In cell G9, enter a formula using the PMT function and the monthly interest rate. Cell G5, the loan period in months. Cell G7, and the loan amount. Cell G3, to calculate the monthly payment with bank 1. So we're going to go to G... 9 which is over here you click equals pmt and we're for our rate we're gonna go to g5 comma g7 and g3 okay then you close it with the parentheses and click enter so you should get 0, 0.00 which is you know like zero dollars okay then it says with the second bank, Mar Marinda and Ricardo can reduce their monthly payments to 1500 but with a higher annual interest rate, 
4.56% to pay back the loan in 30 years. Marinda wants to know how much she can borrow with these conditions. In cell H3, insert a formula using the PV function in the monthly interest rate cell H5, the loan period in months, <coughs> cell H7, and the month payment monthly payment, cell H9 to calculate the loan amount for bank 2. Okay, so we go to H3, which is right here, and click and delete the zero. Click enter PV. So it's going to be H5, which is this, comma, H7, comma, and H9. Then you close the parentheses and enter. You get 293,970. Then it says the third bank will allow Marinda and Ricardo to borrow 3,307,500 an annual interest rate of 4.56% and a monthly payment of 1500 Marinda wants to know the amount remaining on the loan after 20, 20 years and the f- or future value of the loan so that she and Ricardo can start paying it off more quickly at that point. In cell 10, one sorry i10 insert a formula using fv function and the monthly interest rate cell i i5 the loan period in months cell i7 the monthly payment and cell i9 and the loan amount and the loan amount cell i3 to calculate the future value of the loan in with bank 3 so we're going to go to Cell I10, which is right here. Click enter. We're gonna click F B. We're gonna type F B. We have the parentheses. So it's I5, comma, I7, comma, I9, and click enter. Wait. Make sure you did the parentheses okay oh and make sure you add the i3 i3 which is right here and then you close it okay so then it says Miranda plans to print part of the mortgage calculator workbook. Prepare for printing as follows. Set row 2 as the print titles for the worksheet. So we're going to go to home, which we are in. So we're going to go for cell 2 right here and click. So we're going to go to. Go to page layout. Yeah. Click print title, print error, oops, I'm going to go to row to repeat at top. You want to, oops, I need to, right here, click OK. Then, we're go- then it says, set the range F2 to I13 as the print area. So, F2. To F, so it says F to two I thirteen, I thirteen is right here. So okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do Shift, Command down, and to the left. I mean to the right. Then you wanna click print area. Set print area and yeah, okay. Then hide the listing worksheet, which contains data Marinda wants to keep private. So, there are two ways to do that you're gonna go to listing, you can you're gonna right click, click hide. But another way, another way you can do it, I'm just gonna unhide it, click listing, okay. The way you can ju- go to page layouts. 
you're gonna so I mean home go to home go to format and click hide sheet okay that's two ways to do it okay, then it says go to the car loan worksheet which contains detail about a loan Marinda and Ricardo took out for a new car so this is what the worksheet should look the car loan mm-hmm it says the worksheet contains two error. Make sure Excel is set to check all types of error and then resolve ones that the car loan worksheet as follows. Display the possible errors as solution for cell B2 and then ignore the error. B2 is right over here. We're going to go to formulas, go to error checking. I'm going to click ignore error. Click next. It done. So then we'll go. Then it says trace the pre presentence to formulas in cell H7, which should multiply the optional extra payments by the scheduled numbers of payments. Correct the error. So we're gonna double click on it. So I'm gonna delete this function right now. This formula. We're gonna type from optional extra payments which is $120 times which is you click shift sorry okay to our interest so it's you click this extra payments times which is shift 8 And you should date schedule numbers payments just 48 and click enter okay okay then it says draw attention to the optional extra payment in the range b10 to d10 by adding a thick outside border using the tan accent or shape outline color so we're gonna go to b10 to oh B10 to D10. I'm sure here so many. Shift, I'm gonna select the whole entire thing. Go back to home. So go back to the border. Now we're gonna go to thick box border. Remember, click this. Okay, once we do that, we're gonna do the color again. We're gonna go to more borders. Click the line colors. Click OK. And it should be like this. So that's how you do the. <clears throat> So this is how you do the Framos family home purchase. Thank you and subscribe.